It's the story of a long-term dream that turned sour. A world-class football coach, Andre Villas-Boas, wanted to fulfill his childhood dream of doing the Dakar. Sadly, though, it became a nightmare. A vicious tune forcing the Portuguese to bid farewell. My uncle did it in 82 and 84. And the Dakar has been in my blood for, since I was a little boy. So I really wanted to, to do it one day. Serious lower back pain forced the Europa League winning coach to call it quits in his Toyota Hilux. And the initial idea was to do it in the bike because I think it, it represents the real adventure of the Dakar. The lonely hours, the early wake up, uh, the loneliness in the, in the stages. But, uh, you know, with me being in football, my profession wouldn't allow me to, to prepare one year for the Dakar. Lonely moments indeed, waiting for the medical helicopter. Uh, really hard for me. It's only my, my second time in the sand, in the car. So to finish a stage that is considered uh, a stage of pure Dakar is a uh, great uh, proudness for me. If this opens the door in some way, me and then eventually Lewandowski, and we can keep a momentum coming of people from football coming to the Dakar. His Dakar only lasted four days four extremely demanding stages that will have taught him a few things for his ongoing career in football. The lessons that you take here are human lessons, you know, lessons of integrity, responsibility and courage that you take more inside as an individual. But uh, this, uh, this will be something that will make me very proud for sure.